He was stranded at sea for a day and a half, but tonight, Randy Waldorf's back at home with his family in Lenexa. Christina Medina spoke to him today and has more on his emotional homecoming. Good evening. While fishing off the Florida coast, Randy Waldorf's boat flipped over while he held on to the side of the boat for 18 hours. This looks... 50% better than it did yesterday. Randy Waldorf has a couple scrapes and bruises, but for the most part... He looks great. He looks great. In fact, that's what my sister kept saying. I can't believe how good he looks for all that they've been through. Those are tears Kathy Waldorf's holding back. Tears because this weekend's been a nightmare. The Coast Guard had been called and they were searching. Randy went fishing with two friends off the coast of Florida Friday. They were supposed to return that night. When they didn't, the families knew something was wrong. And it was. Their boat turned over. For 18 hours, I held on to a rope and used my legs for support. Saturday afternoon, the Coast Guard spotted the trio and they brought them back to dry land. Now, back at home with his family. That was pretty emotional. <laughs> um, I knew that she'd been worried and, and you know, I, that was the worst part for me was knowing that they were all worrying. And Randy was also fighting back tears, but glad he survived. Looking back, he says he wasn't scared. We were certainly concerned and knew that we were uh, pushing the envelope. Uh, and but but again, I, we were all very uh, sure that that we would be rescued. For now, he just wants to hang out with his family. Definitely glad to be home. And for at least the next couple of days, forego any meals with fish or salt. One of the other men on the boat is a scientist, and he'd given coordinates to a family member, so the Coast Guard said that that helped speed up their rescue. As for Randy's next fishing trip, he says it won't be in the near future, but he does plan to make it back on the water one day soon. Live in the newsroom, Christina Medina, NBC Action News.